Look no further, I have your solution. It's called Restream Roll Intro. Everything.com. Hey guys, it's After Beats Everything. And today I'm gonna show you how you can record everything you do inside your well, inside any DAW, but I'm using FL Studio here. And um, if you ever wanted to record your screen while you're doing anything, uh, you probably run into a software that's called OBS. And it's a great software, but it ha really has a problem with recording audio from digital audio workstations like FL Studio. Normally, you could go here and you can just select um, FL Studio ASIO and it would record whatever you're doing. However, uh, I didn't want to use that because if you use this, then you get a lot, a lot of laten latency. So I tried many things. I tried voice meter banana, was more complicated than I wanted it to be. So I figured there's got to be a way to connect FL Studio to OBS without, you know, without any complicated methods that go into your uh, sound card and, and different that can work, you know, like just you put them there and they work. And I found this little thing. It's called uh, Restream or Restream. I don't know how you pronounce it. Well, w what this is, it's basically a VST plugin that you can put inside FL Studio and you can also put it inside OBS. If you didn't know, OBS supports VST plugins. And you can go here and let me show you. So this is my OBS software now. And as you can see, I have my input here. This is my microphone and this is my uh, output. Well, that's basically FL Studio. So if I go here and you can hear this, there's, there's sound coming in. The way this works is you click here and you go to filters. And as you can see, I opened it, uh, opened another opened a VST plugin inside inside this uh, OBS window and if I click open plugin interface you would basically see the same plugin that is open here in FL Studio. Wait, can I show you both at the same time? Hold on. Here we go. So this is FL Studio and this is uh, OBS and if I click anything you can see it, it sends it right automatically inside there. So this way you're avoiding basically all that loop back methods without any complications. And when you want to record something, you just load your plugin inside your master channel like I did here. I put a soft clipper before it in case that there's some distortion or anything so it doesn't clip, it doesn't sound too bad. And then I put this after it. And here in this field, identifier, you type whatever you want basically. I type Apple Studio but you can call it whatever you want and the main thing is that when you open it in OBS you type in the same thing and as you can see it's gonna sync up and it's gonna send audio to, to your to your um, recording basically it's what actually what I'm doing right now as I'm as I'm recording this so this this little trick saved me a lot of time and a lot of hassle without so now you don't have to like export two different files and then later connect them in a in, in 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 later when you do the edit this way you have all of your files in one in one place basically and uh the way that works you can come in here and you can click advanced audio properties and it will open this little it's like a mixer window or whatever but basically here you can see all your sound inputs across your um, OBS profile and it's going to list them here. So I'm only using two of them. I'm using audio input capture and audio output capture and one of them is here. So this is my microphone and the other one goes to other channels. So then you have two files basically, two audio files inside your video files. And if you open this file in a regular um, media player, it's not going to play both of them, probably. So don't worry. Um, when you open them inside an editor like uh, DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, it, you're going to see both audio files. So this way you can save them both inside and you don't have to worry about like having different files all over the place. 
everything is going to be saved in, in inside one file so if you go um, hold on uh, here and click settings and then go to audio sorry go to output output and go to recording so here you can set up all your um, basically recording spe specifications so so to speak um, in here uh, now I cannot change anything because I'm recording right now but you can set up your recording pad where you want to record uh, your recording format I strongly suggest keeping it in MKV because this way if anything goes wrong during your recording you won't lose everything that has been recorded so the file is still gonna be playable when it is saved to disk if you choose you can choose mp4 and a couple of other formats mp4 is gonna save it but it's not gonna you won't be able to open it so it's basically gonna be an empty file in case that you have that there's an error for whatever reason so best way is to keep it in MKV and if you need it to be in MP4 format for whatever reason you can just do it automatically here uh, you just uh, mark this check mark and w when you're done recording it's just gonna export to MP4 and then you're gonna be able to use it in whatever software you want so that's it guys I hope uh, this this helped you because um other alternative methods to do this would be to have uh, additional inputs and outputs and then you would uh, output the same thing that goes to your speakers or in this case my headphones you would output it back into your other two inputs on your uh, on your uh, audio interface and then you would capture that as a separate input but if you don't have another interface, this is going to solve all of your problems. So, as you can hear, you get the audio and later on you can just adjust it in whatever way you want or, or need. So that's it guys. Leave a like, thumbs up, whatever, you know the drill. And see you in another video. Stay tuned.